as President of the United States, on behalf of the people of the United States, I would like to begin by offering my prayers to the people of Manchester in the United Kingdom. I extend my deepest condolences to those so terribly injured in this terrorist attack and to the many killed and the families, so many families, of the victims. We stand in absolute solidarity with the people of the United Kingdom. So many young, beautiful, innocent people living and enjoying their lives murdered by evil losers in life. I won't call them monsters because they would like that term. They would think that's a great name. I will call them, from now on, losers, because that's what they are. They're losers. And we'll have more of them. But they're losers. Just remember that. This is what I've spent these last few days talking about during my trip overseas. Our society can have no tolerance for this continuation of bloodshed. We cannot stand a moment longer for the slaughter of innocent people. And in today's attack, it was mostly innocent children. The terrorists and extremists and those who give them aid and comfort must be driven out from our society forever. This wicked ideology must be obliterated, and I mean completely obliterated, and the innocent life must be protected. All innocent lives, life must be protected. All civilized nations must join together to protect human life and the sacred right of our citizens to live in safety and in peace. I want to offer my deep appreciation to the Palestinians and President Abbas for hosting me today. It's an honor to join you in Bethlehem, the city that is precious to people from all over the world. It's a precious city. As I discussed with President Abbas in Washington earlier this month, I am committed to trying to achieve a peace agreement between the Israelis and the Palestinians, and I intend to do everything I can to help them achieve that goal. President Abbas assures me he is ready to work toward that goal in good faith, and Prime Minister Netanyahu has promised the same. I look forward to working with these leaders toward a lasting peace. I also look forward to working with President Abbas on other important matters, such as unlocking the potential of the Palestinian economy, which is having a very rough time, and building on our very positive counterterrorism efforts. Several days ago in Saudi Arabia, I met with the leaders of the Muslim world and Arab nations from all across the region. It was an epic gathering. It was a historic event. King Salman of Saudi Arabia could not have been kinder, and I will tell you, he is a very wise wise man. I called on these leaders and asked them to join in a partnership to drive terrorism from their midst once and for all. It was a deeply productive meeting. People have said there have really never been anything even close in history, I believe that. Being there and seeing who was there and hearing the spirit and a lot of love 
There has never been anything like that in history. And it was an honor to be involved, but great things can come from that meeting. I was gratified that President Abbas joined the summit and committed to taking firm but necessary steps to fight terrorism and confront its hateful ideology. And it's so interesting that our meeting took place on this very horrible morning of death to innocent young people. Peace can never take root in an environment where violence is tolerated, funded, and even rewarded. We must be resolute in condemning such acts in a single, unified voice. Peace is a choice we must make each day, and the United States is here to help make that dream possible for young Jewish, Christian, and Muslim children all across the region. In so doing, we will all enjoy a safer and brighter future and a safer and brighter world. In this spirit of hope, we come to Bethlehem asking God for a more peaceful, safe, and far more tolerant world for all of us. I am truly hopeful that America can help Israel and the Palestinians forge peace and bring new hope to the region and its people. I also firmly believe that if Israel and the Palestinians can make peace, it will begin a process of peace all throughout the Middle East, and that would be an amazing accomplishment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.